Hello friends, welcome to this practical course on Stato software. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the reinforcement detailing of beams after getting our results from Stato software. In this lecture, we will discuss about the reinforcement detailing of columns. So first of all, let's discuss about the codal provisions that we must satisfy before detailing these columns. The minimum percentage of longitudinal reinforcement for columns is 0.8% of gross cross-sectional area of columns and the maximum reinforcement should not exceed 6%. The minimum number of bars for columns, if it is a square column then it is 4 and for a circular column it is 6 and the minimum dia of bar is 12 mm. The spacing of these longitudinal bars should not exceed 300 mm in any case. Now coming to the transverse reinforcement. So if we have four bars arranged like this, then we can tie these bars through these lateral ties like this. If you have six bars like this, then what we can do is that we can tie these four extreme bars like this and then we can tie these remaining two bars like this. If you have eight bars, then we can tie these four extreme bars like this, two bars like this and the remaining two bars like this. Now coming to the pitch or the spacing of these lateral ties it should be minimum of least lateral dimension 16 times dia of smallest longitudinal bar and 300 mm and the dia of these lateral ties should not be less than one fourth times the la largest longitudinal bar and it should not be less than 6 mm in any case so let's take an example from Stato software and we will detail that column as per the provisions of IS 13920. So let me take this column. This column is 1001. So click on this concrete design tab and you can see that the STAD Pro has already detailed this column. If you see the reinforcement requirement for this column is 2430 mm square. So what we will do is that we will detail this column as for our own requirement. So let me open Excel sheet. So here the beam number is 1001 and the area required as per STAD is 2430 mm square. So I am assuming 24 mm bars and I am providing 6 bars. So area provided is 6 times dia of 1 bar that is 5 by 4 times 24 square so that comes out to be 2714 mm square so area provided by us is more than the area requirement so this is okay now let's discuss how to detail this column so what we have done is we have provided 6 bars of 24 mm dia like this. Now as per the ductile detailing provisions of IS 13920 we need to provide special confining reinforcement near the beam column junction. So what the code says is that if you have a column like this of height h then near the beam column junction up to a length of L0 up to a length of L0 we need to provide lateral ties or stirrups that are closely spaced like this and in the middle portion you can provide lateral ties that are spaced farther so why is this provision like this if you see the bending movement diagram of column 
then you can see that the maximum bending moment is more at the beam column junction so so the code suggests to provide more amount of reinforcement uh, and closely spaced ties near the beam column junction now what will be the length of this l0 as per the code the length of this l0 is maximum of larger lateral dimension 1 6th of clear span and 450 mm so in our case it will be 450 mm and what will be the spacing of these lateral ties so as per the code is 13920 the spacing of these ties should not be more than 1 4th of minimum member dimension 6 times smallest longitudinal bar and 100 mm so in our case it is 93.75 mm so what we will do is we will provide 8 mm dia ties at 90 mm center to center whatever the codal provisions that I have discussed for the special confining reinforcement are given in this clause 8 of IS 13920-2016 so here you can see that flexural yielding is likely in beams during strong earthquake shaking and in columns when shaking intensity exceeds the expected intensity of earthquake shaking so this special confining reinforcement shall be provided over a length L0 from the face of the joint towards the mid span of beams and mid height of columns on either side of the joint where L0 should not be less than largest lateral dimension of the member 1 6 of the clear span and 450 mm and having a spacing not more than 1 4th of the minimum member dimension of beam or column 6 times dia of smallest longitudinal bar and 100 mm which I have already discussed so that's all for this video thanks for watching bye for now